I have in front of me Christopher Greco, very well known UK Cypriot actor who actually was born in Cyprus, lived in England, he's back in Cyprus now, he's very well known in both countries, he's going to tell us his story. It's over to you Christopher. Well, uh, I always wanted to be an actor and in the beginning I was planning to go to Italy, but uh, my cousin in London, then was in Bristol, Yola Sama, persuaded me to study in England, to train there, because uh, in England they've got, if not the best, one of the best drama schools in the world. So I decided to go to London. But before I went to London, my English were very, very poor. And also, I didn't have a, a lot of money to go over there and train and uh, expensive li life and everything. So, my sister helped me a lot because she's one year older than me. And uh, I, I risked, risked it to go back to London and uh, train there. In the beginning, it was difficult because of the language, because of the the money and everything, but uh, all of those negative, I can say, things, I, I began to work it positive, uh, in a positive way to achieve my goal. I even uh, used to work in restaurants to, in order to study, uh, washing plates, etc. It was difficult, but again, we, we became more aware of what we really want to do. And I thank God because he gave me these difficulties so I can appreciate more what I do and appreciate it. I appreciate my profession. So I'm very glad I went to England. I've done a lot of work there, the theater, films, television. The last uh, 16 years, I can say, I, I lived most in Cyprus. You know when you were in the UK, I mean I remember you on TV, which programs were you, did you appear in and what films in the UK? I was in uh, The Bill, uh, Undercover Customs, I've done different things in theatre, I worked with theatre techniques, different uh, theatres, and uh, we learned a lot. We have very good uh, teachers in the drama school, um, my family is still, still there, I've got three kids, not kids, they're older now. Have any followed you in acting? Your children, any of them in acting? Uh, unfortunately, or maybe better off, they're not. <laughs> Currently the one in Cyprus, the last one in Cyprus, the fourth one. I think she, she might be doing that because she's seven and a half now and she's already in a field meeting room. Oh really? So, we'll see. But you know when you were starting off in acting, I remember years ago it was very difficult to get in acting. You needed an equity card, yeah. you needed certain things. It must have been difficult for you to get into acting yeah, as well. That, that's the, that was the tricky one because when you finish the drama school, you don't, they, they were not accepting you jobs as a professional because you have to have uh, the experience the, to get in the equity. Without the equity card, you couldn't work. So to, in order to gain that, you should do uh, performing on different theatres, even for free, or profit shares. Uh, Theatro Technics was helping a lot of uh, fellow actors and actresses to, to do that. And, uh, Finally, finally we got the equity and uh, we've done some work. But Christopher, now in Cyprus you still continue acting, I believe. Yes, yes I do. I am missing England a lot because my family is there. I go, I have got my agent there and uh, when there are auditions, I go. Uh, but sometimes I, I miss the life in London, although I'm 16 years now more than that in Cyprus. Okay, it's got the good things in here, the bad things, as everywhere, yes. And, uh, well, I wish you continued success, Christopher, and thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Best.